right now I'm on my patio, as you can see. It's really not a patio, it's just a balcony. Um, but I'm sitting here and I'm separating some, ouch, white ghost euphorbias. recently moved and I thought that I had brought all of my stuff over from my old house but it turns out I didn't and my old roommate found like two more boxes of stuff that's mine and a lot of it was plant stuff I only have the very bottom section of one of our closets to put my plant stuff in because we don't have a shed or a garage or a backyard or anything like that so this is new to me and yeah, I am going to try to consolidate everything and figure out what I need, what I don't need. Okay, let me explain what I've got going on here. So I have a trash going. I have the stuff that I'm not going to be using right now. I have some plants, a moss pole, some soil that I just made, a lot of saucers. I am never gonna have to buy a saucer again. And then I have kind of organized these pots by size. And then these pots are all nursery pots, like plastic pots that I can use when I sell plants. So yeah, I'm going to go and wash all of these pots to make sure that they're clean for the next time that they get a plant in them. Okay, this is what I have done. It looks like a mess and very confusing, but it makes sense to me. I guess this is what I'm going with right now. This is apartment gardening. Should we attempt a, to hula hoop? Whoa! So I'm doing something for my wedding now. I'm making a chandelier for the center of the um, dinner area. And so I got these two hula hoops. I've seen a lot of like tutorials on Pinterest and stuff like that for hula hoop chandeliers. Would you like to come say hi, Daniel? <laughs> um, so I've seen a lot of um, tutorials and stuff like that. So I wanted to make one, like a macrame one, and see, um, I don't know, what it would look like. Because I have a little vision. I have a vision for what I want it to look like. What I did was I bought two just generic hula hoops from Walmart. And they have this like pink iridescent, like it's like unicorn skin covering. I'm going to cut it right here with this knife. And then, almost, oh, there we go. Okay. So now I just need to size it. Whoa. one hoop down and I'm gonna do the same thing to the other one but make it just a little bit smaller okay so here are my really wonky hula hoops um, I noticed that if I bent it it allowed it to take more of, of a circular shape um, but yeah that's what I've got so far and I'm just going to attach a bunch of pieces of macrame rope around the perimeter of them and I'm going to be using the lark's head knot to do that and I'll show you how I'm doing that I just cut a bunch of rope and this is definitely not going to be enough but I'm kind of sick of cutting and I want to attach them here to see kind of what they're going to look like. So I'm going to attach each piece using a lark's head knot which is one of the most basic macrame knots to secure the rope to the structure that you're building it on. I have a loop on the top. I'm going to put it over the piece, stick my fingers through here and pull those two pieces out and then tighten it. And that is seriously one of the simplest macrame knots in the world. If the two ropes are uneven, you can just pull them um, so that they are even and then yeah, that's basically all it is. So I'm going to attach all of these and then see how much more I need to cut. Oh, 
Okay, so this was an entire roll of rope and it gave me half of the hoop. Hopefully with Amazon it'll arrive by Friday and I can finish this up within this video, but if not, it'll just be in my next Sunday upload. I am in Phoenix today. It is Thursday evening. I just dropped my sister off at her practice in Phoenix. I have two hours to kill, so I'm going to head into this Goodwill to see if there's anything good. Okay, so here's how I thrift. Number one, go to the glass aisle and touch everything and look for propagation vessels. I love getting my propagation vessels here. Honestly, it seems silly to buy brand new propagation vessels when there's so many cute things at thrift stores. And also, I love the colorful glass, so those are really cute, but I didn't get them. All the Parisians in Paris are cringing right now. <laughs> okay, so we've got some golden hour lighting. <laughs> it's about sunset and there's a really nice sunset view so okay i'm gonna show you some of the stuff that i picked up i got this basket it's probably meant to be a trash can which i could use it for that but also i could put a plant in it and i was thinking about doing a diy where i add legs to this i got two propagation vessels if you saw my previous thrift haul this will look very familiar to you because i actually found one of these um, and a bunch of people told me that they're used for oil and vinegar and i was so so shocked when i found another one <laughs> and this other one is just like a really cute um uh, i don't know it's but i'm gonna use it to propagate basically this one was 69 cents and this one was 99 cents i got this bag of beads they are like dark wood beads i've been seeing a lot of people use these in like their macrame pieces and i just think that would be so fun i got these doily things because surprise i'm getting married in like two and a half weeks and i still have not figured out my veil Ooh. <laughs> so i decided that i wanted to make my own veil um just like to have my own touch on it and yeah i'm really procrastinating making it so i was thinking of folding it in half or something and like okay my hair is in this ridiculous bun so i can't really show you but like i don't know all right and the last thing that i got i don't know why i got this i thought it was cool it reminded me of the 70s it's this hot pad i believe i feel like this is a super unique piece um, cool, so now I still have an hour and I think that I'm going to find a coffee shop. I want to do some journaling, I need to catch up with myself. I've always been a journaler like my whole life and um, it's really important to me. I think that if you don't journal, you really should. It's so cool to look back at your life. If I ever want to feel like an edgy college student again, I just head over to my local Cartel Coffee Lab. I don't know if you guys have them in your area. They actually might just be an Arizona thing, but I love their chai. I actually don't drink coffee, so I love a good chai latte. Oh, and I must admit, I do also enjoy the occasional shot of espresso with a little bit of milk and sugar. Perhaps I enjoy a shot of espresso because it gets the coffee taste over with sooner. And I don't know, I kind of just like the taste of espresso, but I don't really like the taste of drip coffee. Does that actually make sense or am I a walking contradiction? Okay, now back to the subject. I totally went off the rails there. I love to journal because it really is my time to catch up with myself, like I said before. Sometimes life can feel really crazy, and sitting down just to write out everything that I'm thinking about has been a really awesome practice for me in my life, and I hope that you try it out if you haven't already. Thank you so much for watching this video and supporting my channel. I will see you guys in the next one. Bye!